It appears quicker than thought and disappears slower than thought. When I got up to Maine, uh, I kind of liked the place. And it had, it's, the light is different than New York. It's, uh, it's richer. The colors are a little brighter. I got a scholarship to Maine. They had a thing where you had a truck. You went out and people painted landscapes. And I would paint it outdoors. So I tried it. And it was a complete different way of working. In, in Cooper, it would take me 18 hours to make a painting. When I started painting from the landscape, just start getting a painting done in an afternoon. The way I painted was uh, really not thinking. It was like paint. It was like getting to my unconscious. The unconscious was just doing it, and I, that that way of painting, getting to the unconscious. I said, "Well, this is. I'm going for it." But main, main is like freedom. I made a sketch of grass 20 years ago, and it's not the grass, it's shadows on the grass. That's where the problems came. And I couldn't make it larger. I couldn't figure out how to make it larger. And so it came to the end of something, and I said, why don't you try painting a 20-foot painting of grass with shadows? You're working on an 18-foot painting, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's moving quicker than you can think. My, my experience has been that if I'm not scared when I go into something, it, it can get boring. No, I'm really scared. And I was pretty scared doing these things. My aesthetics came out of jazz. The rhythms come from like, would be similar to jazz. Yeah, you, they, come, they, they come from inside your head. You, 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 you're putting strokes down. It's all light. Light what holds my painting together. Because I have an idea, and if I paint the idea, it wouldn't be, it would be okay. But when I try to get the light right, it, it, they, it gets into the unconscious. I want it to be something that you get immediately, like in a flash. And I wanted something that all people can get. You know, they get it on their own level. It's like the immediate present. It's not about scenes. My father was like a, a dominating guy in taste. And a friend of mine and I went out on a bicycle and we rode 20 miles to find a scene that he liked. And we painted two watercolors. He painted one and I painted one. And we came back and showed them to my father. And the other guy was really good, <clears throat> sort of like an Andy Warhol type. And my father looked at it and said, you're going to be a great commercial artist. And that's what he wanted to be. And he looked at mine and he said, oh, we're going to have to be a fine artist. <laughs> But the, the future is like, I don't know how we get the Vegas idea what I'm doing. Life is kind of short, and, and you're supposed to not get bored painting. I have the most productive time my whole life was right now. <laughs>